So foraging is not all just about being in the countryside. Some of the best harvests have been found in the middle of most big towns and cities. And I'm here with uh, Darwin's Berberus, Berberus darwinii, in the Berberidaceae family, and it's a great family of foragers, especially in the urban environment. There's a number of related species that you'll find planted as amenity specimens. They're evergreen, they flower in midwinter, in the darker months and then produce different sized and shaped berries, generally oval, or in this case round, about 10, maybe 12 millimeters across at their largest. Most Berberus species are, or Mahonia species, are, are known for their tart fruit. But these ones will actually get a little bit sweet they're just coming into their prime. All species, and I've recorded a video on Mahoney across media earlier in the series. All species um, have, have berries that are high in pectin, so they're ideal for fruit leathers and jams. And you know, being a lazy forager, they're one of the first fruits that we can get our hands on in, in the urban environment. They've planted up a lot like here, outside houses and estates, and you'll also find them in around development complexes and new builds and what have you in the city centre. So you'll be coming across this plant a lot. It has leaves that are a little bit like a holly. You may just be able to pick out the spikes here on the end of the leaves. But these are maybe one and a half centimetres long at their greatest. So they're small leaves. They're in little clusters on the stem. Spiny plant. It has gorgeous orange flowers, which we'll just try and see if we can pick out. But it's really sunny around here. Somewhere there's flowers on this bush. Here we go. Not really going to pick out. May just be getting the orange colour there of these flowers. So you expect it to flower in. You know, I see this in uh, early winter. You should be catching it full in bloom sort of March it depends on the site and setting as with a lot of plants so just bear that in mind everything is site specific further north in the country you go the later the flowering commences and it's the same for going up in altitude but just have it on your radar as a winter and early summer crop now go find some